is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we are finally doing the first thing to the Civic. Well, second thing technically. We, I got the windows tinted. It's not a mod or anything interesting. I got them tinted. You'll see that in a second. Um, but we got some new wheels for the Civic and these I think are just so classic, so timeless. It's going to make the car look that much better. The car, in my opinion, already looks pretty damn good. I think it's a bit of a survivor. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But let me show you what wheels we got for the Civic. So we got my parts car right here. It's pretty good. I mean, it gets okay gas mileage. It's a pretty good parts car, but inside the car, actually, let's just go ahead and open up this one. We can see I got some Toyo Proxy R1Rs on them, which is, I think, one of my favorite tires for good, just overall use. Pulling out the wheel. How do I grab this? I want to do it without showing you guys the face immediately. Ugh, I got the wheel out. Let's go ahead and roll it into the garage. All right, the moment of truth. The set of wheels, my first set of wheels, because we all know I like to change wheels. My first set of wheels for the Honda is a NK RPF1. Woo! Might be a surprise, might not. The reason why I went with the NKRPF1 is because it's a very, like I said prior, it's a very classic and timeless look for the EG hatch. A lot of people ran them back in the day. My boy Eric pointed me in the right direction. And I think that this is gonna be a good sporty look, which is what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for no three-piece garbage. I like three-piece wheels, but for now, I wanna do something that I can have fun with, toss around, and it's just an overall budget-friendly wheel for the car. I'm not out here trying to spend four or $5,000 on a set of wheels when I haven't even touched the motor. That's how I like to do things. I'm gonna buy a nice set of wheels, and then down the road, maybe I'll buy something more expensive. We'll go with a Volk or a Work or something. We'll see down the line. We'll see what happens. That being said, I have some news on what I plan on doing to the car. So, a lot of you guys were giving me a lot of interesting ideas on what to do with it, what swap to do, either boost the B20, B18, Type R swap, K20, K24, J series. A lot of you guys were giving me some really good ideas, but I think the one that suits me best the most straightforward, simplest, will do everything I want it to do. Drum roll, please. I believe what's best for my EG is going to be a K20 swap. It's going to start as an NA K20. I want to have fun with it, make mid 250-ish horsepower, maybe go up towards 300. And then from there, I want to go ahead and boost it and then make five, six, seven, maybe 800. We'll see. So I got some info from some Honda people. Um, a K20, simple rod and pistons, it, it'll handle eight, 900 all day. So I'm not trying to shoot for that. I don't want eight or 900 in a Honda. I'm not trying to die just yet, but it'll handle that so I don't have to worry. A stock K20, I believe, handles about 600. So we're going to go ahead and go with a rod and piston setup in a K20, boost it down the line, make some solid numbers. That might disappoint a lot of people because I'm sure a lot of people wanted to see me like J swap it or do some crazy just shit, but I'm not looking to do anything too crazy. I just want to have fun with a Honda that I can reliably just gap people with. And I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. So I'm going with that. I think that will suit me best, and it is what it is. These wheels aren't as light as I thought they'd be. Like, they're pretty light, but uh, they're definitely not as light as the drag wheels on the Mustang. And these things are like half the, the width. So, but I'm really excited to get these on. I think it's gonna look really banging, and uh, it's just gonna look classic. You know, I'm paying good homage to all the other Honda guys out there that have made a classic look. All right, I got them all unwrapped looking at them. These are going to look so good on the Honda. I'm super excited. I know it's probably not what you guys were expecting. I'm sure you guys were expecting me to drop thousands on wheels, but this is going to be a very good, just simple setup. It's clean, it works, and it's aggressive, which is what I like. Go ahead and give you guys a little spec check on what I went with. They're 15 by 7s plus 35 offset. Tire is a 205 50 15. Very aggressive setup. I, it should fit on the Honda without doing anything. The car is lowered already from the previous owner and the fenders are rolled, so it is what it is. Hopefully I don't have to do anything more than that, but it should fit. Let's go ahead and we will hop in my little parts car here. My cute little, uh, what is this? It's like a, some sort of Toyota or something, I don't know. I think it's like a Yaris, and then we'll go get my Honda. This is a weird Yaris, like the steering wheel and everything is on the wrong side. What dumbass assembled this to put it on the wrong side of the fucking car? What an idiot. We got a little dinner! I had 
the fucking GoPro. All right, so I took him twice. He got me once. Oh my god. Only this is the one time where I need the fucking GoPro. This Yaris is quick. Okay, so what happened is he come. He, I didn't see him. I guess he was behind me when I got onto the freeway. He pulled up. And then as we were on the on-ramp, he fucking like zoomed past me and I was like, all right. So I went in the tunnel and I fucking two-stepped it. He heard me. We then got onto the freeway and that's where I was recording. I flew around him. I got into the carpool lane and uh, we did a 60 roll with anti-lag. Took him. Easy. Okay. Second time he was like, run that shit back, run that shit back. Okay. Ran it again. I broke loose. I couldn't reel him in. Third time right now, got him again. God damn it. I need a GoPro in here. Fuck. If any of you know that dude, tag him or something, so that way maybe we can get an actual rematch and I can have the GoPro going, but that was fun. His car sounded so sweet. God, that was so fun. All right, boys, we're in the Civic. Where are those 812s at? I'm back for round two. Where are the 812s at? Where are y'all at? Civic's hungry. VTEC finna kick in. All right, let's go install these wheels. All right, the Civic is here, and before I pull it in, thought I'd show you guys the tin job really quick. Oh yeah, already just much, much better. No more fishbowl. So we went with 20% up front. And then I went with limo in the back just because it has no AC. I'd like to keep as much sunlight out as possible, but it already looks so, so much better. So let's go ahead and get rid of these ugly fuckers because that is the trashiest wheel setup I think I've ever seen. That looks, oh, you have got to go. First wheel, about to go on. I'm excited. Oh, I've waited a couple weeks for this. Let's get this junk. Oh my God, look how skinny that is. That is scary. That is so skinny, like literally a palm. Get out of here, junk. If someone wants these, you can have them. I'll leave them in the middle of the street. I won't, that's littering. I won't do that, but. All right. Now let's see though, how this motherfucker looks. For those of you crying in the comments right now saying that I'm using an impact and I'm going to strip my threads, this is a piece of shit craftsman, probably makes like 40 foot pounds of torque. Garbage. But let's see how the wheel looks on the floor. Sheesh! Look at that. Look at that. It's perfect. It is literally perfect. Oh my god. That looks so much better. Let me show you guys. God, look at that. It is so much better instantly. And like the fitment too is like perfect, bro. That is so good. Wow. Like it's crazy. A good set of wheels. <laughs> look at the difference. Look at this trash. Oh my God. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Let me do the other side. All right. Time to lower down the front. Already looks way better. Let's see when it's on the floor. Let's see the fitment. Fitment check. Oh. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Oh my god. That is so perfect. That is so perfect. Are these zip ties? They'll, they'll get chewed down, but look at that. Wow, that is amazing. I'm going to convert you guys into Honda people. You can't tell me that doesn't look clean. Okay, I'm not a Honda person, but sheesh. You know what guys, I hate to say it, but sometimes these old heads are right. And when they're right, they're really right. Check this bad boy out. I can now officially take the Civic to car meets, okay? I didn't do it before because it looked like ass, but look at it. It's actually like a decent looking car. It doesn't look bad at all. Like the fitment and everything is on point. I am so happy that I don't have to run a spacer or do any bullshit. It is one and done. Did my research, got it done right. And it is just perfect. It's like pretty much flush. The previous one I did roll the stock fender, so I'm good there the front ones as well it's got a little bit of a tuck to it and it looks just really clean like just check that out like that is super clean that thing looks minty i would say let's go for a drive but it's not really going to change much especially with the slow ass b20 on the wrong ecu that's in there already 
there's really no point in driving it. Right now, I'm just getting it pieced together and I'm ordering parts for the K20 swap. And then once all that arrives, we will be good to go. I will dump it in as soon as possible. Some of the parts seem to be on a little bit of back order. I believe there's a few parts that are like six to eight weeks back. I'll have to double check, but I believe there's a few parts that are on a back order. So the swap is gonna go down within a month or two and then we will be good to go. And this thing is going to be ready to start hurting some feelings. I'm doing this for me, but I'm also doing it for you guys. You guys want to see what it takes to build a Honda. I'm going to be as transparent. So what I spent on this wheel setup for this Honda right now, wheels and tires, full setup, everything mounted. Obviously I installed them onto the car myself, but everything I spent 1450. The wheels I believe were 200 a piece and then the tires were like 125. I'm going to be as transparent as possible. I believe I got a little bit of a discount from my homie's shop, but for the most part, $1,400 for the setup. And we have an authentic Japanese wheel with a great tire that's going to last a while in the future I may or may not change it up if we're running a lot of power I'm gonna have to obviously go with like a drag slick or something so it's gonna change but for a solid Canyon car I think this is the setup for sub 500 horsepower once we go past that we're gonna need more for sure because it, it is solid meat but it is not enough meat to hang and hook I probably need to get it aligned. I don't know when the last alignment was, but the front does have some camber too. Hopefully the camera can pick it up. The wheel's a little turned, but it, you can see it has some camber. So it looks really pleasing though. Like it is not overdone. It's really aesthetically pleasing. And I am just super thrilled that I can actually feel pretty confident when driving the car because those, these ain't the way to go. These are some garbage. I'm still trying to debate what I'm gonna do with them. I think I'll hold on to those wheels until I get the K-Series in and then I can just smoke the fuck out of the tires and junk the wheels after that. But I'm super excited for this build. I hope you guys are too. I think that's going to do it for this video. I don't really know what else I can cover. Tint job, wheels, I think that's it. Let me know what you think though. I mean, are you feeling the wheel setup? Like I said, it might not be a permanent setup. I'm probably going to have to run a slick up front when I'm getting the power I want. But for a nice Canyon car, something that I can actually drive around and not worry about, I think this is a beautiful wheel and tire setup. It's timeless, it never gets old, and it's just a super iconic look that I think most people are going to recognize and appreciate. Anyways guys, that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Video. the Honda build is starting slowly but surely just as all Hondas are slowly but surely they gain speed and you can actually pass the speed limit eventually so slowly but surely the build is getting going I think suspension will be next while we're waiting for all of the swap parts to come in and then we will build the motor toss it in tune it and then boost it so until next video hit like comment subscribe peace